It's me, Mikey Pipes, with Dove. <laughs> Look at Dove. Good morning. This is gonna be our plumbing and soon to be heating tech for service. All right, we're at our next service call. We are in Great Neck. Oh man, I love me G-Wagons. Oh, the only thing better than a G-Wagon is a Ferrari 258. Wow. I think it's a 258. I was thinking about getting an FS90 training in the Porsche, but uh, this, 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 oh. Okay, let's go say hi to Daniel. By the way, if you need a red carpet, uh, Express mats, uh, it's like 85 bucks, uh, customized. I usually buy three or four at a time. Uh, they're great. You really roll out the red carpet when you're doing a service call. We have the area protected. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is Daniel. Check out his YouTube channel, DC HVAC. He doesn't have one yet, but he will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today we are taking out this Whale McLean indirect 80 gallon um, indirect water heater for domestic hot water. We're going to take this out. We're going to hopefully just close this valve here, cut this out, disconnect the power to the circulator, close this off there, and then there as well. Um, not disturbing any of the boiler or boiler water. We've got a lot of zones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six zones. Why there's only an Amtrol number 30 there? Well, let's just say hacks bring us stacks. Anyway, this indirect is coming out. We're taking this out. The water main right here, we're going to throw on the AP 900 whole house water filter. Before that, we're going to put on a Watts lead-free pressure reducing valve because apparently he thinks he has high water pressure. And as you can see, everything has these cool little valve tags. Look at that. If I could read hieroglyphics, I would love to. Maybe someone could teach me. That is awesome, by the way. We're going to take this out. We're going to put a piece of plywood on this wall right there. And we're putting in, you know what, the Renai RSC 199IN gas fire tankless condensing water heater. It's going to be ah, perfect. All right, so one of the first things we're going to do is isolate everything. Uh, we don't have a hot water isolation valve on the domestic hot water out. We do have one on the cold water here. We're going to hook up our hose here, and we're going to try to drain with the Milwaukee transfer pump. We're gonna make sure everything's airtight. Okay. Uh, what? Not airtight here. Yeah. Well, you gotta tighten it up better. Because if you have any loss of suction and siphon, we're gonna lose that and we're not gonna be able to suck down that drip dip tube that's there. On the boiler side, um, this is our supply piping going to it. So we have that isolation valve closed right there. This check valve. As you can see, is going towards the water heater. Going this way, we got that closed. This is closed. Looks like some kind of like bypass here. I don't know why that's there, but um, when we're done, we'll just cut, boom, right here. We'll cut right here, and that'll be the hydronic supply and return side. What are you, are you missing? A Oh, cocky, no. This one. Take that one out. See, this is the little washer. It's inside there. And if it's no bueno, we're not going to have a good uh, siphon, a good suction right there. Um, in case you guys don't know, this is the Whale McLean Ultra 3. I believe this is a 230. It could even be a 299. Wow. Really great machine. But one of these, the problematic things with these is that bottom of the heat exchanger, they like to develop holes, especially if it's not serviced properly. Ain't that right? Yeah. And I can't tell you how many times we've seen an Ultra 3 with someone use, you go it, high temperature epoxy on the bottom. <laughs> and miraculously, the house was bought that way. 
All right, so we're gonna try to start that up and hopefully, 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 we'll be able to suck. Let's see what happens. Oh, we are in business, ladies and gentlemen. We are in business. Okay, so we're draining down all this water there. Just don't touch anything there. We have a good siphon going. As soon as we break that siphon, there'll be no more sucking. All right, so while we are pumping down, we're making good use of our time. We have Daniel instructing Dove on the installation of the tankless flush valves. No, it goes on here. They Supplied with the Renai. On this unit, they give you a union to just put it on right here. Really liking this RSC 199s. I believe we've done a total of three or four so far. They're really, really nice. You like them? You like them. Do you prefer this over the Bosch? Yeah. yeah. Really? The so Bosch it's in it's very big. Very big? Like very tall. Okay. So next week we're actually putting in a Bosch, um, a T9800i SE 199. Uh, well, one thing that I love about the Bosch tankless water heater, though, is that it's perfect for a tank-style uh, installation to a tankless style. And the reason for that is our top connections are our domestic in and outlet side. The bottom has ports and connections, integrated flush valves built into the Bosch. So... You know, as much as well as, as much as Daniel loves the, the Renai, which I also do as well, and my partner down in Florida loves the Renai as well, um, this is a nice little added feature, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know what this is, this creates that recirculating line, right, which this has a built-in pump for. No other manufacturer does that. None. Check None check whatsoever. Even a little check valve built into it. Tell me that's not amazing. Hashtag love Renai. All right, we have the Renai set up with the flush valves already installed. We're now going to disconnect power to our indirect water heater circulator, which is being fed from this wire right here. And we're gonna trace it down to right here and right there we have our line and our neutral so we have terminals one and terminals four or five actually one two three four five yep so terminal one is going to be that indirect line voltage and terminal five is going to be that indirect neutral oh looks like we're just about done there and she's shaking I can shake her. That's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And we're going to close this. And we're going to remove this. And we're going to hook it up here to drain. All right. So now we're draining from here. Our air valve hissing away. So we're draining down, trying to drain down because the knuckleheads who put in this indirect didn't bother with a drain there. So it's going to make it a little bit of a challenge to haul this bad boy out of there. She's got some weight to it, I'll tell you that. She's got some weight, but fortunately we're only going to go up one, two, three steps into the garage and then outside. Okay. All right, we have to get a little creative here. Uh, we were aiming for the floor drain by taking <laughs> this pipe. Oh, look at that much water actually. Oh. oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. Just a little bit of a drippage. Oh, oh shit. You <laughs> blow again. Look, Daniel's good at blowing on pipes. <laughs> and it's not the big black thing either. Here, let me give you the big black thing. <laughs> Here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we need to turn off the water to the house and we need to uh, cut these pipes. Wanna do that one? 
Okay. Very good. All right, so while we are in the process of taking out that indirect, I'm taking a walk to the exterior. I want to see our clearances to... Oh, I think we're right here. How's your hole? Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Yes, I'm over here now. All right, so... What is this? What is that? Is that an outlet? What is this? Vacuum? No idea what that is. That's our fresh air intake on our DWV system. This is the concentric venting for the, the Ultra 3. That's our fresh air supply for the room. So we're gonna drill a hole through here. However, our elevation, I thought our elevation was gonna be better, but it's not. Um, remember that fresh air intake grill right there? Just keep that in mind. The bottom of it is resting right at grade. One of the things you have to keep in mind as a plumber or anyone else in the trades is that you want to plan ahead. You don't want to have to take on something or it's kind of like the measure twice, cut once principle, right? We want to plan ahead. That way we're not going to be kicking ourselves in the ass um, if we do something wrong. So let's take a look at that fresh air intake. All right, so just as I predicted, our fresh air intake is all the way up there close to the ceiling. And if we go right around there, we should be good. All right, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to stay up on the high spot of that. All right, so it's that time. We're gonna take out the water heater, strapping it to the appliance hand truck. We'll leave the hose. What? Leave the hose, it's fine. Go right over it? Yep. All right, and then we're gonna manhandle this this beast. Looks like Daniel's getting Chinese water torture there with the drip, 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 drip. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> they have all the clearance in the room. Okay. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, it is 8.35 on Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. My name is Mike Dyke. I'm a licensed master plumber in New York, South Carolina, and in Florida. If you are in the central Florida area, uh, Plumbing and Air by Tom, my company down in the Orlando area, give us a call, 407-375-1100. If you're in the New York metropolitan Long Island area, give us a call at 516-348-6300. We'd love to help you. All right, we are working with this blue piece of plywood. Uh, we're 42 across, 37 tall. This is a scrap, a piece of scrap that we had left over. Uh, we have two pieces of, of two by four that are 40 inches long. Uh, a little bit short, but we're gonna use the ramp set. And we're gonna shoot those two by fours um, horizontally on the top and bottom right there to accommodate that. And then we're gonna screw this to there. So let's get this two by four up there. Okay. You got the right ones right here? Yeah, the long ones. Did they have the stop? The higher? Yeah. 40, 36. Do we level it on or? Go closer to the water line. No, a little bit further away, right there. Okay, I would go, yeah. Can you go higher? No, it's fine. Peter, shoot at one on the, right, on the left or right hand side. Try to get that, that two by four as flush to that foundation wall as possible. Is it we flush? Yeah. Good. Ready, aim, fire. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll bust. Well, I'd say bang it. No, you gotta shoot it in again. You gonna bat? You think? Shoot it in with the ram set again? Yeah. Oh. Double Why? Shot, so go right I didn't know one. you could do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're blank, double Yeah. That's cool. All right. Wait, you gonna try hammering that in? I would just see how well that is. Yeah. You think that, does that work for you? I think it would at least like flatten it. Okay. Watch I don't this. Know if go in. Ready? Aim. Fire. 
There you go. Oh, look yeah. at that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> now, let's get that level. Yeah, that good. Level. Perfect. Shoot one in the middle, and then shoot one on the left-hand side. Sweet. Glock and loaded. Ready. Aim. Any thoughts for Nana Claire? Uh, How does that feel to shoot your load like that, so, Private? Okay. <laughs> That's his load. He's got his load. Yeah, He's right. charging there, right? The load. Actually, maybe the the, the nail is ready. Aim. Fire. Yes, that's right. Well, you're upgraded. You're up. You're getting a promotion, Private. You're now Staff Sergeant. What's it from the Full Metal Jacket, Staff Sergeant? Oh. oh. You yeah. You never saw. You never saw. Um, what was it natural? Not natural born Snowball. killers. No. What was the name of that movie? What, Private Pile. That's Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, Full Metal Jacket. Let me see. You've never saw Full Metal Jacket. Peter. It, Mr. Snowball. God damn it, maggot! What is your malfunction? Yeah. Sir, it is the private's duty to inform the senior drill instructor that Private Pile has a full magazine and is locked and loaded, sir. Listen to me, Private Pile, and you listen good. I want that weapon, and I want it now. You will place that rifle on the deck at your feet and step back away from it. <sighs> What is your major malfunction, numbnuts? Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention when you were a child? Private Pilot blew his head off. Go, the, 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 the donut. He was eating the jelly donuts. Oh, yeah. And then they, they, they gave him the, 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 they put the soap in the socks. Yeah, they and they, they gave him like an old, old school prison beat yeah. down. Yep. The, but in prison, you put the lock in the sock. See, you learn something new every day. Okay. Now, we're going to put another one down there. Yep. See, ladies and gentlemen, over at Pipe Doctor Home Services, we have fun. Yeah, and make sure you move over more to the right. There you go. Oh, you don't have to be exact. Or you can be, or you can be a, uh, below it or above it. All right. All right, here we go. Just hug the snot. Sorry? No. Hug the snot. Yeah. The snot on the wall. That's why yeah. I brought the hammer no, into you. We're, so you can really take care of those boogers. Boogie. All right. Yep. Ready? Aim. PPE. Fire! Oh, yeah. That's going to have to go in again. Yeah, why does he not seem to be going in? Because it's a long nail and it's very, very... This is what you this call... Is like this is called great neck concrete, by yeah. the way. This it's is... Fortress. This yeah. is a fortress. Yep. It's going to be fun drilling through that, by the way. Fine. It's going to be you. That's correct. Ready, aim, fire. Hey, oh, yeah. Get that money, Peter. I know you don't go to the gym anymore, but do you do? Or, or is it Daniel doesn't go to the gym? Oh, did you at least cancel your membership? I was going to cancel it last night, but I couldn't go into the pack. So. Oh. Coincidentally, last night. Coincidentally, last night you were going to go there to cancel, but it was packed, so you left. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, you know, you, you know, if you if you if you go to the gym, you'll be able to fill in the shirt a little bit more. I was able to break. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, that was good. That. He couldn't break the other yeah. yeah. Oh, well, he's just well, he's just an he's just an old Jew. You know, he doesn't really have any strength right there. <laughs> it's okay. You're a little light on the schmear. <laughs> A smear, a smear. Take a little extra smear on that. I mean, a smear of uh, the, the the cream cheese with the locks. Yeah. How is he gonna shoot his finger off? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Fire! Oh, you shoot a blank. Oh, you shot a. Oh, it fell out of the hole, Peter. You got to put it in the hole. It slides right in there. Uh -oh. Like I was going to slide into your girl's DMs. Oh. Uh -oh. oh. Oh. Here we go. Ready? Aim. Fire. 
Yeah! That's nice. You got a hammer drill like your other, like your Mike G. Well, it is a hammer. It's an impact driver. Yeah, but mine doesn't make do -do 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 noises like no. that. Watch this. Hold on. Oh yeah. Okay, now I got a couple up there. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, got him. <laughs> All right, that's, that's strike one. Ready? Imagine if you hit it right on the nail. That would suck. Oh, yeah. The nice Pipe Doctor Signature Blue. In case you guys don't know, this is Mega Blue. Now, Vega, not a sponsor of the channel, but we do love Vega. Just like we love Webstone, just like we love SupplyHouse.com, not a sponsor of the channel. What we don't love, right, are haters and trolls. We don't like haters and trolls. And yes, I know it's a little bit of a little wave right there, but you know what? It is an optical illusion. Kind of like when you're walking in the desert dying of dehydration and you yeah. see like the, pool. the pool of water in the horizon, but mirage. as you walk, it's a, it's a mirage. Yeah. See, you're smart. <laughs> Damn. I think he just got himself another race. <laughs> Here, and I slip down. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we're going to favor this side right here with the tankless because I want to reserve this spot right here for our water filter. You open the box. You know, oh, you open no. the box like, you know, like your yachad. Oh. You know what yachad is? I know it means together. No, no, no. Yachad means like, you're like, you're retarded. Come on. This one's figured out. All right. Watch your back. Make a hole. Oh yeah, he's gonna hit the copper. Oh yeah, he's gonna hit the copper. I know he's gonna hit the copper. Yes. He's gonna hit the oh yeah. Spew it all over. Go. Ah. Push up. Uh, uh, up a little bit. Right there. Okay, good. We're gonna get water. Okay. Can I have a little? Yeah, maybe. Uh. <laughs> of course. Okay, leave it right there for now. We'll be all right. Okay. Is there a hole in that bucket? Uh, I think it's just because water got on top of you. <laughs> no, just water on top of you. <laughs> oh, no, there's a hole in it. Oh, God damn it. Sergeant, Mom, private pile, what is your malfunction? He's going to use it. He's putting his finger in the dike. You want to know? <laughs> You know, a dike is a hole in, in a dam, or a, yeah, a hole in, in the dike, yeah. Not the dike, like, like, like you know what I mean. Cutter. Yeah, like an angle cutter dike. There are a lot of different types. There are a lot, you, you, exactly. Can you name a few dikes right now? Um, a Nipex dike, yeah, yes. A Nipex is a, is a, makes dikes. Uh, climb. Milwaukee, Climb, makes dikes. Besides having a side cutter, can you name another type of dike? And by the way, this is not the uncensored channel, so keep it PG-13. <laughs> this is not NC-17. If you're looking for the uncensored version, head on over to Mikey Pipes Uncensored for his raw, uncut, unfiltered... What, 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 what? A dike like, 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 like the, the New Orleans is below sea level, so there's dikes around New Orleans. Mm. Literally, <laughs> right? Um, and then you have... He's Googling, he's Googling oh dikes. D-Y-K-E or D-I-K-E? Types of D -Y -K. dikes. Let's do it. What does it say? Dike. Dike swarms, multiple <laughs> dikes, Sweden, sheeted dike complex, ring dikes, igneous dikes. Oh, igneous dikes, igneous dikes sedimentary dikes. Oh, see? So types of, of, of rock formations and rock types. Uh -huh. All right, can we stop putzing around and screw this thing to the wall? Yeah. Is it, are we live? Yes, Caitlyn Jenner. Here. Are we, are we live? <laughs> this, that little clip will make its way to the uncensored channel. No. Maybe not. Nana Claire, he's an, he's, an, he's an adult, so let's just keep it real. Yeah, get 
How about Ellen? Well, besides Ellen DeGeneres, we have Ellen Page, now known as El Elliot Page, who I happened to uh, like, by the way. I liked Ellen Page, but now Elliot Page? Mike, she said it was, uh, she was on that show that you really liked, or he was on the show you really liked. House of Cards? That's why Mike likes mm. the show now. Yeah. Oh, you're just as bad as Daniel. Come on, put the screw into the wood. So here's our water main coming in, our ground wire right there. I want to get rid of the stupid wire that's here that is for this electro scale blaster. I need a pair of, you know what, me a pair of dikes. There you go. I got a pair of dikes right here. Always got to have a pair of dikes nearby. Oh, look at that. Worked out perfect. Here, take your dikes back. Thank you. Now, we want to... Oh, this is so annoying. Mm. No, I you don't want to solder? No, I will. I just want okay. to touch it too. Yeah, yeah, you haven't really done, like, stuff like that for a while. Let's go. Yeah. Last time I did it was yeah. a radiator. Come on. Uh, chop, chop. A lot of flame. Yeah, I would have grabbed a small, like, tip. Go. Oh, yeah. It's one inch. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Come. Come on. I keep bringing it closer to the flame. Oh, you keep moving it away. See the hole? Yes. You're right. Okay. Get some more in there. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. You want to like feed it to it. Shove it in the hole so it doesn't take it anymore. That's good? Think it's good? I think you did, Peter. Think it's good? All right. So Daniel thinks that the distance from that pipe, which is our domestic hot, off the cinder block, off the cinder block, off the foundation wall, is the same as that right there, the hot water. So he was going to take an elbow break and shoot straight down, and he thinks that the distance between the center of the pipe to the foundation wall is the same as the center of the pipe of the hot water outlet to the center of the wall. Very yeah, you're very wrong. Oh, if you ain't testing, you're guessing. We have... I'm even giving you the benefit of that by going up high as possible. So you can, I know the pipe can be like curved for her pleasure. We are at 10 and let's say 11, right? Want to measure? Not really. <laughs> oh, nine. nine. Oh my God, Daniel. But you could do this, right? You could. Now, what do you have there? <laughs> let's see what that is on the foundation wall. Oh no, you still like your 10 and a half. <laughs> What if you pull the pipe? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. Okay. But remember, this is not Florida where we hacks, you know, get away with this stuff with CPVC pipe. Yeah, that's scary using CPVC. It is very scary. I gotta tell you, when I was doing the hose job, I was like, oh, this is good. The hose job? Yeah, they were doing, or they, you were estimating to do a hose and then you left the guy because the guy was like, he was like, Tom gave him the wrong amount or whatever, <laughs> but I was like, no, I but didn't want to touch any. There was, there was a half inch CPVC line coming out to the, going to the toilet supply line, going to the toilet uh, to, uh, shuttle valve. The thing was like, it felt like it was cracking my hands. I'm like, fuck. You know, oh, we got, we, you know what? Let's make sure we know what the water main is because if this thing breaks, I'm, I'm not flooding out this guy's house in my first service call in Florida. Like literally, I'm not doing it. I did a little loop leak. And then we got the wrong size things. The supply lines from Home Depot because, you know, they had half inch on the, instead of three eighths compression on the outlet side of it going to the toilet. Whatever. It was a disaster. Do they have supply houses in Florida besides Home Depot? Yeah, they have Wind Supply. They have uh, Ferguson. Yeah. All right. Dove. Yes. You done finger banging that? Uh, yes. Oh, no, actually it wasn't you. It was Peter. Thank you. <laughs> so these are the two pieces, right? And we need the valve in the middle, which is up there. Look at that. Does that look pretty, by the way? Nice. Guys, just stick around. You're going you're gonna to want to smash that thumbs up button, by the way. Do it now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is a little bit before 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, Daniel is working on the domestic cold water to our Renai Tankless. Uh, we just took a, a momentary lapse of insanity, and I wanted to show you guys this. 
coming out of the vending machine. Uh, Hell yeah, let me get some Takis, bro. Where'd he go? It's 53. Uh, so cut 53 and then uh, 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 three quarter. Uh, uh, We're going three quarter. Move these bags. Shit. Oh, this is not going to end well for him. Alright, you take this crate. There's another one. There's a cool link right in the garage. I got a lot of work today. All you have to do is just move that sand over there, all right? Don't drive off the damn cliff, okay? All right, dude. All right, all right. Easy money. Yeah. 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 It's called What the Fork. It's on Instagram. Check it out, guys. It's hilarious. Say stuff like that. Gee, this What the Fork page is pretty cool. <laughs> Fortnite. Oh, wow, look at this cool rock. He's, he's flattened. <laughs> Beavis. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying earlier, if you're not having fun during the day with what you're doing, well, maybe you should find a way to make yourself laugh. Let's see, what is Daniel doing up there? Daniel, don't, don't F up my filter. I've been working very hard with it. Just a little It's the right size, trust me. Oh, no. Yeah, want to bet? If, if it's two and, and three quarters of length, it's the right size, trust me. You have to realize that the Webstone valves take more, more a lot more than a standard fitting. But you don't need to go in that deep. Oh, Daniel, you can do it. Oh, well, just be quiet over here. Oh, the fan turned off. Why'd the fan turn off? Yeah. Is it in? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yes. You guess? You know, it's either in or you're out. It's it like a like girl being pregnant. Either she's pregnant or she's not. It seems like there's a lot of play here and here. But well, if you mark it... You gotta mark it with the pipe. Mark it with the marker. Sharpie. Arr, the Sharpie. All right, so right now we are drilling through this 14 inch thick cement foundation. Peter and I uh, drilled through the first half. I have Dove and Daniel now drilling through the second half. We're trying to get through the foundation wall. And once we're through there, we hit the brick, and then we'll finish with the pilot bit to get the last, and then drill from outside to in. Got you got brick? Yeah. All right, so pull that out. Vacuum out that hole. Let's get the pilot bit on the other hammer drill, which is somewhere here. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, let's get rid of that. Vacuum out that hole as best you can. And let's shove that pilot. I got it. Hey, Doc. Don't touch that. She's hot. All right. Find that. Uh, well, there's a hole there already. You want to get that hole. And you may have to take that grip off. Try. We got there's a hole there already. You through? Yep. There you go. Now we'll go outside with the two inch and drill from outside in and we'll shove our two inch PVC pipe for exhaust through there. And for fresh air, we're gonna steal from right there. Alright, let's take a look at this hole. We are, I don't know. 
I don't know what the hell Dove is looking at, but that's nowhere near center of the hole. That's all on the left. <laughs> ah, there's our hole. Let's see? So if you were to drill that outside, right where that pilot hole is, we're going to have an ugly hole there because it's not going to be where it needs to be. All right, so someone's outside. I saw movement. All right. Who's outside? Peter. All right. About an inch to the left of that hole, at the same elevation. Okay. All right. Yep. Let's see. We need to make this perfect. Oh no. Come on, what's up with that? <laughs> what's up with that? Pilot bit or using the the round two inch? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. We got all the cocky out of there. Let's see Peter drill out this hole. stuck. You didn't lube it up. You gotta lick it before you stick it. Oh. Come on, there you go. Alright. What is that, a leaf? What is that, cork? Alright. Let's shove this pipe in there. Alright, perfect. Alright, so we have our two-inch pipe through the hole. We're gonna need a 15 and I think a half inch piece from there to there. And then a fresh air, we're gonna take from right there. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna look really, really nice. When we're all done, it's gonna look really, really, really nice. Daniel's using the bandsaw. Wow. Damn. Are you smoking something? Oh, uh, okay. But this looks epic, by the way. And I had the, the little rag that I stole from the hotel I was at. One of them. This may have been from Orlando. I like stealing rags, schmatas from hotels. That's right. All right. Oh, this goes in a lot, actually. Okay. All right. There's Daniel. There's Dove. There's our three quarter inch. Put your thumb on that where it's the inside of the thing. Uh, steel piping that we're using for the gas. Okay. I Hold had uh, Daniel put a split so ring. No, top. sorry, a uh, clevis hanger the there, yeah, piece of threaded we'll rod, and a ceiling plate. And uh, for some port there, we cut that three quarter and put in a three quarter inch mega gas T right there. Across, dropping down, hooking up to our gas. And this is really, really gonna look nice. It's okay. 
Oh my god, YouTube would love that, by the way, if Mikey Pipes beats employee. Oh, they would. Oh, the, the, the trolls would all. That's a good headline. Yeah. The trolls would really, really, really be hating then. Look at that. So we're taking these out. Now, this was the supply, or maybe it was the return, uh, off of the primary loop, which doesn't really exist on this boiler, by the way. If you did, in case you didn't notice, we come up there and then we have all these zones, and then it goes here. They actually never created a primary loop here. Wow, that's insane. So take a look at this. This is our supply. Is it our supply? Which way is this arrow going? No, that's our return. Here's our return. So let's go to the opposite side and follow the pipe. We come up, low water cutoff. We have the T for the relief valve. We come up. This is that first T that went to our indirect. We come up. And instead of elbowing this way to connect to our return to create our primary loop with the closely spaced T's, we come across here with an air separator, sorry, an air oh, scoop, oh. you know, cheap $10 air scoop. We come across and there's our zones. One, two, three, four, five. They never put in. You know what? We're literally in a multi-million dollar house right here. Multi-million dollar house right here. And it is not installed properly. Peter, can you believe that? I can't. You can or you can't? Well, I can. You can, that's right, because we, we're in New York, and actually, regardless of where you are, we still see it, and that's why I say hacks bring us stacks, stacks of cash. And there's a pile right here. You don't see it, but there's a pile right here. And this blue board is a very expensive blue board, but let me tell you something. Quality does not cost. It pays. We did a great job here. We're almost done. We didn't disturb this one-inch main coming in. All right, we have our ground wire here. We have our first isolation valve, see, water main. And then we have this weird, stupid blue wire, which is a scale blaster. We didn't touch that. It's a little bit up there, but off this main, we have our boiler supply. We had a drain, uh, I guess, for water, if you needed water here. Another isol isolation valve. This is going to a hose faucet. Or maybe a spring. This is half inch. This is going to a hose force. And we come up. And we have our two T's. One there with the valve in the middle. That bypasses all that stuff. So let's say this whole thing with a pressure reducing valve was bad. The, the water filter was bad. We can close that valve which or open that valve and close that and close that and isolate that filter. I did say isolate the pressure reducing valve. We're not going to isolate it because there wasn't enough room there. And actually came out really nice we came up all vega press fittings here by the way that t comes across to our zern wilkins one inch pressure reducing valve lead free um i got the wrong one i thought i had the female pipe thread version the ips version so we can thread in some brass nipples there um, but i didn't and we sweat them in instead peter did that earlier as you saw we come across we have our isolation valve we have two valves, one before, one after the water filter. And when we notice a pressure drop across that water filter, then we know when it's time to change that filter. And I normally say 10 PSI pressure drop on those two. And that's when it's time to change the AP 917 HDS. This is the full flow uh, sediment whole house water filter canister very easy to replace and i put in a isolation valve with a drain right there to take that pressure out in case you know we want to get rid of the pressure and then we connect it back up to the house supply um the plywood you saw we shot two pieces of two by four into the foundation wall uh, mounted the renai the rsc 199 in this is the condensing tankless water heater with built-in recirculation. Okay. If the homeowner would like us to set that up, we can add that little T-manifold that you see with the flow check uh, on the furthest fixture and set this up for a recirculating. It's built in. We can do that. It's just an added upcharge for the service call, the install. We can also do it later as well. Um, that's this thing. Fresh air, I'm not taking from outside. We have a fresh air grill there. The boiler is not utilizing that at all. So we're not going to put pipe in fresh air directly to this. Uh, as far as our vent piping, I'm using non-cellular core two-inch PVC piping. It's acceptable here in our jurisdiction. 
went outside, we sealed inside, we sealed outside, put a little 45 on there, and it is nice and beautiful. All right. The gas is officially done. We cut in a three quarter inch Mega Press G T right there. Just yell. So we're good. I did a load calculation on gas piping here. Our meter is right there. So if we have 10 feet. That's going to 210 and 199,000 BTUs. We're good. We're good. Beautiful. Yeah. So, you may want to increase the pressure here a little bit, though. All right, I raised my pressure to 60 PSI. I turned that clockwise by looking at it clockwise, ladies and gentlemen. That little nut right here, I loosened up this... Um, I guess locking nut, yeah, locking nut there. And I just pushed, you know, and push in, but I turn this clockwise, bring it down into the valve, and that increased our pressure to 60 PSI. I did it one full rotation. On the Zern Wilkins, this is the model 70XL, one inch yeah. pressure reducing valve. I don't have a pressure gauge before, but what I do have is this. This is a Watts hose faucet pressure um, gauge and let's see what kind of pressure we got here well we're almost at like a 95 psi so that's a little bit high i like to make sure we regulate high pressure domestic pressure when we have when we're anytime we're above 75 or 80 psi um we don't really have that problem here on the long and metropolitan area because uh, we have water towers, and we don't really have those pressure pumps like you see in other parts of the of the United States. But very rare it's to see pressure that high. But we do have 95 psi of pressure. That pressure reducing valve by Wilkins Zern is now at 60. So he'll know to change this when this reads under 50 psi. Ladies and gentlemen. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you as well, right? You watch my videos, yeah, right? All, all right. You know that a company policy is that we check the relief valves on the equipment that we work on. Okay. That does not mean just a pressure relief valve, but we have to look at the drip leg for that. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't make this shit up. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Um, Are you ready? Always. You got to check the, you oh, too. Come if, on. Let's see okay. if Dove, let's see see if Dove realizes what's going on here. Yeah. Dove, now, I know that you were hired for plumbing drain and water heaters, right? Tell me where the relief valve is on this boiler. On that boiler, here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, now, check what the PSI of that is. Should be 30. Okay, let's see if that is 30. Let's see. Okay, I see 30 right there. Okay, now, we had a conversation earlier. Because I had you install the drip leg on the relief valve of the water heater. Actually, this is called a temperature and pressure relief valve, yeah, right? TMP. Mm -hmm. Temperature of 150, uh, sorry, temperature of uh, 210, pressure of 150, okay. and it should terminate a minimum of one pipe diameter off the floor, maximum of six inches, right? That's the, that's the mechanical code. Now, let's look at the relief valve and drip leg for this Whale McLean Ultra. That's higher than six. Is it higher than six? Okay. Is that your final answer? I want you to pretend your job depends on it right now. If you get the answer correct, you will get to keep the job for the remainder of the day. <laughs> if you fail, I've put people in an Why? Uber before. It's going to the ground. Okay. Should, right here. is that your final answer? Yeah. Pretend this is who wants to be a millionaire. Yes. Okay. I think we, I think actually we might have missed something. You might have missed something? Yeah. Oh, tell me no. Really? You had me, you had me going here. So we're, follow, we're following this. We're following this pipe. Oh, I didn't see the T there. But where does that PVC go? Where does this go? Riding around the back wall. On the floor. Oh, shucks. Oh, man. You won. Give yourself an attaboy. Score You're good. <laughs>
Wow. I, we did not see, this is a T. We thought it was an elbow pointing up, but it was created a trap, which they plugged. If you're guessing, wow. Wait, wait, that wasn't even what I was pointing out. What were you pointing to then? The fact that it's black on top of it. No, that's, well, that's okay there. But you can't have black pipe coming out of the relief valve because it's fer ferrous, ferrous metal, right? He's saying dissimilar metal. Dissimilar, there's, yes. There's no brass in between that seal. Correct, and correct. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that you thought it was a plug. Oh. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's plugged. That was but that going into here, going into there, going into the floor drain, okay, that's, that's unique. You never see that, but... Whew, man, that would have been epic, by the way. I know. Such a bummer. Okay. Should we, um, the boiler's on. Should we, can you turn on a couple zones of heat? Yeah, yeah. Right, turn off that. And then we're going to turn, run the hot water. All right, ladies and gentlemen, full disclosure, it is 1245. We have been on site for about five hours. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. So almost five hours. We removed that indirect, that ugly tank here. Um, Put that blue piece of plywood on the wall. Got our pressure reducing valve in. Whole house water filter with gauges before and after to read pressure. We have our Renai tankless condensing water heater installed. I love the Renai. It comes with the flush valves in the box. No one else supplies. No one. No one else supplies. And because we're taking fresh air from outside for the boiler, we have that fresh air intake right there. We're good with pulling it right from this room and there. Easy peasy, sealed our penetration through that nice thick foundation inside and out. And this is how we get it done. If you are in the Long Island metropolitan New York area, give us a call 516-348-6300. If you're in central Florida, Orlando, give me a call 407-375-1100. Catch you in the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe.